All right, hell yeah. So it's gonna be a pretty quick video, and you're probably not gonna learn much about trigonometry, but you are gonna learn about the quotient rule and how you can do this one fairly easy. You know what I mean? And just don't memorize this. And we'll even get a different form that may be more uh, representative. And so here we go. So we're gonna take tangent theta and turn it into sine theta divided by cosine theta. Hell yeah. So now we're gonna take the derivative of this. You know what I mean? derivative of this with respect to theta, and we're gonna use the quotient rule. So the quotient rule, I'm gonna link uh, a video to, uh, we do the quotient rule on a very simple problem, but it's it's a bottom d top minus top d bottom divided by the bottom squared. You know, so uh, if you just keep saying that, you'll just get used to it. So we're gonna take the bottom times the derivative of the top, so we're gonna take cosine theta, uh, times the derivative of sine, I guess I will do this. Hey, sine goes like this, and then cosine goes like this. Cosine is a negative sloping graph. Um, sine, what you need to know about sine is that uh, the slope is one right there. Cosine, the slope is zero right at the start. And so um, what do we need? We need, uh, so we got derivative of the, so we got bottom d top. Derivative of sine, well, we need an equation where if you throw in zero, it gives you one. Well, that's going to be cosine. So we're going to have cosine theta here. So again, uh, bottom d top minus top uh, d bottom. What's the derivative of cosine? Now, its slope is zero. Cool. So you are going to, like, what equation when you throw in zero gives you zero? That's going to be sine. Uh, but... Uh, this is a downward slope, so just remember that. I would draw this out because visually you can see it's going to be negative sine. Booyah. So we have negative sine theta. All right, so again, uh, bottom d top minus uh, top d bottom. Cool, and then all, all divided by the bottom squared. So we got cosine squared theta. And hell yeah, you should be able to see this uh, just becomes positive. And then we have two of these. So we have cosine squared theta, and then we have sine squared theta. Well, hell yeah, that's just going to equal 1. Um, so that's probably one of the easiest trigonomic identities. And we're just going to have 1 divided by cosine squared theta. And uh, why not just be done right there? Why not know tangent theta is 1 divided by cosine squared theta and not even have to bother with uh, secants? Uh, but anyway, uh, hell yeah, these two are synonymous, you know. So, uh, um, hell yeah. All right, so we're going to do one more because we, you know, we definitely have time to do this. We can do cotangent. Now, if tangent was sine over cosine, uh, well, uh, cotangent is just this flipped upside down. So we're just going to say, hey, cotangent's going to be cosine theta divided by sine theta. And now we're going to take the derivative of this. And so, hell yeah. So we're going to do bottom d top. So we're going to have sine theta. Uh, let's let's draw our, hey, this is sine. And then uh, cosine starts up here, goes down. Okay, so we have uh, bottom d top. Taking the derivative of this must be 0 at 0. That's sine, but it's negative slope. So we got negative sine. All right, hell yeah. And then uh, so we have bottom d top minus top d bottom. Derivative of sine? Well, hell yeah, we have a slope of 1 uh, at 0, so what when you throw in 0 gives you 1? Cosine. So sweet, so we're going to have cosine theta. All divided by the bottom squared. Cool, now this one's a little bit tricky, not too bad. So we have a, a negative sine squared theta minus cosine squared theta. Now I will give you a little piece of math. This helps me all the time with negatives. Uh, instead of writing it like this, rewrite this. Say this is negative 1, and then bracket it in, and then, uh, and then say this is sine squared. Say, I even go to the, to the, I should make a whole video on this. Just say it's plus uh, sine squared theta. Just so you know, this is definitely now a positive uh, number. And now we're going to go plus a negative 1 uh, plus cosine squared theta. Now it seems like a lot, but hell yeah, now you're negative 1, is uh, it feels like you can factor it out, you know, because I think it's, like, obviously you can just factor out the negative one, 
uh, do it. The quicker method is just, hey, put negative 1 in a bracket and then bracket in sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta. Uh, you know, and then you can fact, you know, you, uh, you would foil this in negative sine, negative cosine. But if you do this, hell yeah, you can totally see that now you can factor out, um, you know, that, uh, 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 the sines and cos you can factor out that negative one. That's all I'm saying. All right, hell yeah. So now you see that this is your trigonomic identity of one, and you have a negative. So the answer to this is negative one divided by sine squared theta. And uh, like, sure, obviously this is going to be uh, negative cosecant squared theta. But just I, I don't know. I would just rather use this in my calculations uh, than this for whatever reason. Uh, maybe because maybe I don't know maybe I can use another identity and, and cancel some more stuff out anyway so uh, that's that in a nutshell and uh, I think I'm gonna make another video I'm like what the hell is the derivative you know we just solve for it but I mean does this mean anything you know it, we usually need this for problems that were just like hey I need to take the derivative of this for whatever reason, so I really don't care anything about it. I just want the answer that it gives. Uh, but I'm going to make a separate video on like, hell, can't we can't we figure out what this even means? Because uh, I think that would be useful. All right, thanks for joining me, and that's a video.